Hey everybody, it's Jordan with pdq.com. Uh, today we're going to dive into the print nightmare uh, zero day that we had and kind of uh, sift through the confusion that's come out since the patch. Uh, to give a quick quick recap, basically it was found on the 1st. On, the, on July 6th, the patch came out and it came with a little caveat under that where it wanted you to set a registry key value. Uh, the next day, the security researchers came out and said, no, it's not fixed, which is kind of true. Basically, if you have point and print set up, then there's still a risk there, but if not, you're completely safe. Uh, and then on the 8th, they updated their own uh, MSRC website with what they called an informational uh, change only. And th the information was, was they had the wrong registry key. They had to update it to the correct value. So there's been a lot of uh, half-truth, misinformation, and a lot of confusing, confusing communication that's gone out about this one. So we figured... We might want to dive in, take a look at it, and see how we can make sure everyone is safe and secure. Uh, the first part is, if you're not using the point and print uh, service that you set up through group policy, you should be fine. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how you can go and make sure you're still fine, but without that policy set, the registry keys don't exist, and that means uh, you're, you're safe and secure. But if we're going to go into group policy, uh, we're going to go to policies, administrative templates, and then uh, printers and under the uh, computer configuration. And that's where you're going to find point and print restrictions. So we're going to go in here, you go enabled. You can see down here these next two spots where you have installing drivers, a new connection, and updating drivers. You want to set that to show warning at elevation prompt. This will go in and that will set the register keys that it's worried about to zero. Uh, and that, that, that's how this last one, it keeps you safe from that. It makes it so you do need some sort of... Uh, administrative rights to be able to run this. It helps lock everything down. If this isn't even set, you should be good, but that doesn't mean we can't go through and make sure it's not fine. Uh, so we, we're going to use PDQ to point inventory to track this down and fix it. So the first thing, I built a scan profile and it's just a simple registry. We're, we're going and we're looking at uh, Microsoft Windows NT printers point and print. And it says uh, point and print, that's going to give us a whole bunch of uh, values and value names in there that we're looking for. We're basically searching, we're grabbing everything in there. We're just going to go through and scan everything with that. It's just one line, easy to do. All computers, we're going to scan the collection with Print Nightmare. Uh, while this is scanning, I also came in and I built a dynamic collection. This is going to help me find the ones that uh, have uh, unsecure information or, or need, need a little bit of uh, finesse, finessing or changing to keep secure. And all we're doing is basically if either no warning, no elevation on install exists in this value of one, or update prompt settings exist and is a value of one, then that one is at risk we need to change. So we're gonna wait for this to finish scanning here because I believe, hopefully I set one that shows up. <clears throat> and all you have to do is nothing shows up here, you're fine. The two that put you at risk, they don't exist anymore in your environment. If one does show up, and as you see here, Bugs Bunny is at risk. If we go and open up the uh, registry, you can see that they're both right there. This is the only machine that's at risk. It's almost like I didn't do this with group policy. I just manually put it in there uh, for, for this use case. So what we're going to want to do is we're gonna go in and change that. You can either, if the policy is in there where that applies, it should update it. But if you don't want to wait for the policy, you want to be extra sure, uh, what we're doing is uh, PowerShell. We're coming in here. We're looking at basically the path. Is it line one? And then if the value of that is there of uh, no warning label, equals one or user prompt set equals one, then it goes in and it changes those to zero, which sets it to secure. Uh, the bottom one here is just for my own notes. That's what Microsoft sent out initially. If you change that, it's supposed to override all of this, which would have made us safe even in the case of the point and print, but we're gonna kind of bypass this. We're just gonna only look at the PowerShell itself and uh, how we can fix that. So now that we know we have a machine that's broken, we have the PowerShell to fix it. I came in here and I built my own package using that PowerShell step and we're gonna deploy that there we go, deploy once, inventory, and we're just going to point it to the collection that we built uh, <clears throat> just to make sure we got all the machines that are in there. And then one important thing about that package is there's a scan after deployment. I went through and I changed that to specifically point the registry one. So after we run this fix, it's going to scan everything with the registry fix to make sure everything is fine. So, okay. Deploy that now. That's going to go. It shouldn't take too long. It's looking at a very specific spot, changing two things, and it's good to go. And then once that finishes, we should see, and there it shows done. It's going to start scanning. It's going to use a scan. Once it's gone, it's going to disappear. Hopefully that goes a little bit faster for us. It's going pretty quick. 
right? <clears throat> Outside of that, we've got the registry, we've got the PowerShell, and you can see why it didn't show up on mine. The printer under Windows NT doesn't even exist on mine, so if you haven't set this up, there's nothing there. And you can see it's now secure, it's gone from our collection. So, quick recap. Just because, install the July 6 patch no matter what. That does fix the biggest risk. Uh, if you do use the point and print feature, you may still be at risk. You're going to want to go through and run these tests to find out which way machines are secure. If none of them have any value or the value is set to zero for those, you're good, good to go. Uh, so hopefully that helps kind of unravel all this information. You, you can be safe and secure. You don't have to wait. Hopefully tomorrow's patch Tuesday. They clear it up even more and remove the need for the extra steps. But... For going forward, you can just run a couple of quick steps there. You're good to go. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.